That was really loud. Okay. You guys see what this is here? This here. Zippo. You can do multiple things with a zippo. Mainly started off as mainly light. Now, I'm going to show you one of the most difficult tricks to pull off. It's not something simple like that. And it's definitely not something simple like that. It's something more difficult. This is the Twilight Zone. Now, you need a magic level of at least 29 before you can even attempt the Twilight Zone. So, might as well get out there and level up a few times. Simple as this. Now, you grab the fire, like so. Force the energy of it back. Like that. Simple. Okay, okay, okay. Now for me to get into this seriously. <clears throat> Literally the only thing that you need to do to do the Twilight Zone trick is to have a Zippo, number one. And then you just push the wick towards the cap here. After that, it's as simple as lighting it. Then all you have to do is put your finger over. The fire will consist right there. And with any little bit of wind hitting it, it will just pop back up. It's preferred if you do this kind of motion, so that way it looks like you actually have magic. <clears throat> but you can do stuff like that. Even blow on it. Just don't blow too hard. Simple. And it's recommended that obviously you do it in a room without any wind. Uh, I've been doing Zippo tricks for quite a few years now, so be sure to be safe while doing this. <clears throat> There's a certain speed that you have to go at for you to be able to get it into this corner here without burning yourself. If you go too fast, you're too afraid, it'll just pop back up. If you do it too slow, which I'm not going to because I'm not an idiot. Actually, wait. Do it too slow, you'll start burning your hand, but still, you can get the effect. Now, when working with a Zippo, doing tricks, it's not meant to do tricks. So don't do it too often. You, you can actually wreck them. My Zippo is actually wibbling here. Uh, with actual Zippo brand Zippos, you can take them back, or you can send them to the company and they will replace it. It's got a lifetime warranty. But still, don't wreck it. it it's nice, and do, uh, nice to do tricks and all, but still. Also, do not attempt a trick like this right after you've just refilled it. That's just stupid because you could easily have a little bit of uh, fluid in this area or even the cap and 
if that starts on fire while you're going over it with your hand, that's going to hurt. I burn myself. That's how easy it is. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and if you like learning about Zippo tricks, like this video. It would be nice to see if somebody likes it. If so, I will probably do more. And I may actually make a compilation of all the Zippo tricks that I know.